We're taking you on an epic journey through the evolution of humans. Buckle up, because we're going from tiny molecules to the dominant species on Earth in just 10 minutes. Imagine that billions of years of evolution crammed into the time it takes to finish your lunch. We'll dive into some mind-blowing events that shaped our existence, starting with a moment 4.5 billion years ago that's even wilder than the Big Bang. Get ready for a roller coaster ride through time. So how did we go from tiny molecules floating in a primordial soup to beings capable of building skyscrapers and exploring space? It's a tale of survival, adaptation, and a whole lot of luck. Along the way, we'll encounter volcanic vents, ancient bacteria, and even psychedelic mushrooms. Yep, you heard that right. But first, let's rewind the clock to the very beginning of life on Earth. Around 4.5 billion years ago, something incredible happened. I'm not talking about the Big Bang, that's old news. I'm talking about abiogenesis, the process where life emerged from non-life. Picture this, a steaming hot broth of water, ammonia, methane, and hydrogen, all bubbling away in deep sea volcanic vents. Sounds like the recipe for the world's weirdest soup, right? In these volcanic vents without even a sprinkle of curry powder, Mother Earth added her own special ingredients, sulfur, nickel, and iron. Over millions of years, these molecules clashed together, forming chains of amino acids like lysine, lactic acid, and urea. These were the building blocks of life. Eventually, some of these chains started replicating, and voila, the first single-celled organisms were born. Enter Luca, the last universal common ancestor. Every living thing on Earth, humans, animals, plants, and fungi, can trace their lineage back to this tiny critter. Now, Luca was pretty amazing, but it wasn't self-conscious. Fast forward a few billion years, and we start seeing the development of self-awareness. This leap to self-consciousness is still a bit of a mystery. Some philosophers have suggested that psychedelic mushrooms played a role. Yep, our ancestors might have tripped their way to enlightenment, munching on psilocybin mushrooms that de-patterned their brains, altered their perceptions, and encouraged social bonding. Imagine ancient humans sitting around a campfire, having deep conversations about life, the universe, and everything, all thanks to a few magic mushrooms. Before humans could really get going, we needed one crucial thing, oxygen. Early Earth's atmosphere was a cocktail of nitrogen, hydrogen, water vapor, and carbon dioxide. Then came cyanobacteria, the real MVPs of the prehistoric world. These tiny organisms started photosynthesizing, producing oxygen and slowly transforming the atmosphere. Meanwhile, the Earth was playing tectonic shuffleboard, creating supercontinents like Rodinia and Panotia. These shifting land masses set the stage for the next big leap in life's complexity. About 550 million years ago, the Cambrian explosion happened. This wasn't just any explosion. It was a biodiversity bonanza. Hundreds of different animal species emerged, laying the groundwork for every major animal group we know today. Fast forward to the age of dinosaurs. These majestic creatures ruled the Earth for millions of years. But all good things come to an end. Around 66 million years ago, an enormous asteroid struck Earth, causing a mass extinction that wiped out the dinosaurs. This cataclysmic event might seem tragic, but it cleared the way for mammals, and eventually humans, to rise to prominence. After the dinosaurs bowed out 66 million years ago, mammals seized the opportunity to rise. With the giants gone, these small furry creatures diversified and adapted to fill the void. Among these mammals were the early primates, who started evolving larger brains and better vision. Picture a world of tiny, inquisitive, rodent-like critters scurrying about, unknowingly setting the stage for the evolution of more sophisticated primates and eventually us humans. As millions of years passed, primates continued to evolve, leading to the rise of the great apes. About 12 million years ago, the lineage that would give rise to orangutans split off. But the real drama happened around eight, nine million years ago with the Chumin, the common ancestor of both chimpanzees and humans. Initially, it wasn't a clean break. These two lines kept mingling and swapping genes for millions of years before finally going their separate ways. Today, humans share a staggering 98 to 99% of our DNA with chimps, making them our closest living relatives. Fast forward to about five, six million years ago, and the Homo genus began to emerge. One of the most famous early humans in this lineage is Lucy, a 3.2 million year old ancestor from Ethiopia. Lucy and her kind were bipedal, meaning they walked on two legs, a game changer in the world of primates. 
But why did they start walking upright? One theory, the Savannah Hypothesis, suggests that as forest receded, early humans needed to navigate grasslands, standing tall like a biological SUV to spot predators and prey. Another theory posits that walking upright in trees helped them gather fruit and evade predators. Whatever the reason, bipedalism set the stage for future human advancements. As brains got bigger and hands got nimbler, early humans began making tools. Enter Homo habilis, or handyman, about 2.6 million years ago. These early tool makers used simple, sharpened stones to scavenge meat from carcasses left by larger predators. Their diet was a mix of leftovers, marrow from bones, and whatever they could forage, which was mostly plants. Life was tough and often brutal. Fossil records reveal some gruesome tales, like an adolescent dragged up a tree by a leopard or a child who fell victim to an eagle. Survival was a constant battle against both nature and fellow creatures. Around 800,000 years ago, early humans mastered the art of fire. This was a turning point in our history, providing warmth, protection from predators, and a new way to cook food. Cooked meat meant more nutrients and calories, fueling the growth of our brains. However, softer food led to less chewing and consequently smaller jaws, which is why we have crooked teeth today. With fire under control, early humans sought better shelter. They moved out of dark, damp caves and began constructing homes. The oldest known structures date back 400,000 years and were found in France. These innovations laid the foundation for more complex societies and the eventual rise of modern humans. Let's talk about one of our lesser known but very important ancestors, Homo heidelbergensis. This key extinct species lived around 400,000 to 300,000 years ago and played a pivotal role in human evolution. Homo heidelbergensis had a more robust build with a prominent brow ridge and a projecting face. But over time, they evolved into Homo sapiens. Fossil evidence shows this gradual transition with changes in skull shape and brain size. And somewhere along this evolutionary journey, around 200,000 years ago, our great-great-great-great-grandmother was born. Scientists believe all modern humans can trace their DNA back to this one key female ancestor, making her the ultimate matriarch of humanity. Around 60,000 years ago, modern humans began their grand migration out of Africa. As they spread across the globe, they encountered and interbred with other human species like the Denisovans in Asia and Neanderthals in Europe. This mingling of genes has had a lasting impact. For example, certain Neanderthal genes have been linked to immune responses and even the ability to develop freckles. The Denisovan DNA, on the other hand, is still present in some Asian populations today, contributing to various physiological traits. The Agricultural Revolution About 12,000 years ago, humans hit another major milestone, the Agricultural Revolution. Instead of relying solely on hunting and gathering, people began to cultivate wild varieties of peas, lentils, and barley, and started herding goats and oxen. This shift to farming led to a significant increase in food production and consequently, population growth. Settled farming communities laid the groundwork for more complex societies and technological advancements. But life wasn't all rosy fields and fresh bread. The 14th century brought the bubonic plague, which wiped out about 50 million people, a staggering portion of the world's population at the time. It took Europe two centuries to recover. Fast forward to 250 years ago, the Industrial Revolution transformed our world from rural and agricultural to urban and industrial. This era sparked unprecedented population growth, hitting 1 billion by 1804 and 8 billion in 2023. Our rapid growth required vast amounts of energy, first from coal, then oil and gas, and now we're increasingly turning to solar power. Looking ahead, our technological advancements are propelling us toward an exciting future, potentially even space travel and colonization. Who knows? We might become a type one civilization, harnessing all the energy available on our planet. But that's a story for another episode. So there you have it. From tiny molecules in a primordial soup to modern humans on the cusp of space exploration, it's been a wild ride through billions of years, packed with incredible milestones and a few psychedelic mushrooms along the way. If you've enjoyed this whirlwind tour of human evolution, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And stay tuned for our next episode, where we might just explore whether time travel could fix your Monday blues. Until next time, keep pondering those big questions and remember, it all started with some really funky soup.